I'm starting this Windsor rocker and it has quite a number of spindles, both short spindles and then long spindles, and two crest rails, a primary crest rail up here at the top, and then a secondary crest rail in the bottom here. Now, I'm doing something a little bit unusual by starting the construction of this chair from the top down. I'm using hard rock maple and there's some bent pieces that are uh, steam bent. I wanted to work them first and so I'm trying a new way of, of building a Windsor from the top down and right now I've got a steam bent secondary rail here and uh, a full-size template of that rail is on this uh, on this paper that is glued to a piece of plywood along with some sight lines, sighting lines. Now I'm normally in, in Windsor chair making there are these sight lines on the seat to drill angles for all these legs and arms and, and so on, and spindles. But here I am using sighting lines in an unusual way to, to drill the holes in this secondary and primary crest rail for all these spindles. It's very difficult to uh, sort out how to, what, at what angle and in what direction to drill these holes. So I'm using a method here that I've not tried before and I think it will work quite well. And I'll be able to put this whole assembly together, the top assembly, before working the seat. And that's the goal here. And I've just started to drill a 3 8 diameter hole uh, for one of these spindles and you can see there's a siding line that's going front to back here and an angle that I've set based on the SketchUp model that I've created. I know that this angle is approximately 106 degrees. In fact, I'm going to drill basically all of these holes at 106, but I'm going to use these siding lines for the other angle that will get me so that this, the alignment of this hole will align also with the hole in the seat. So I've got everything clamped down and I've got a, an angle gauge here set at that 106 degrees and uh, I'm just using a brace and bit which gives me some control and, and uh, a pace, a slower pace that I can adjust things and I can also step back as I'm drilling I can step back and look at the angle to see if I'm aligned with the angle gauge and everything looks pretty good so those long spindles actually I don't want to go all the way through here I just want the point the point of the auger bit to go through the other side and then I'm going to drill the rest um, turn it over and drill through from the other side and I think I could hear that the point had protruded through the bottom edge so now here's one that that hasn't been started yet so I'll move the angle gauge over and align it with the sighting line and begin the 
drilling. When I calculate the angles on SketchUp, there's 105.5, 106. Here's 105.5. Here's 106.4, and 10. Yeah, so there's there's some different values. This is 105.6, and this is 105. So I'm not trying to go to tenths here. I'm. I'm close enough, I think, with just the 106 all the way, and uh, that should be accurate enough for this kind of work. The diameter of this secondary rail is only 7 eighths, so I'm taking 3 eighths. Oh, did I hear that? There, I can hear it going through. Okay, so I'll stop. So, um, it's important to get these holes to go through the center, not protrude out through a, a side and, and so on. So, uh, this helps with this kind of a sturdy platform it helps, I think, to make uh, safer uh, spindle holes in the crest rail.